I went to Unseen Perfidy's channel last night and saw that he had a video called Success, which was evidently about the Philippine stuff. He didn't refer to me by name. I'm just one of the people he doesn't like or doesn't like to talk to or make angry to talk to. And that's fine. Um, he went through and said how success, you know, this is like... Is you Okay, I'll just put this in, you know. Second person there. Unseen perfidy. Should you be watching this? You had nothing to fear about me being vile. We had had two or making you angry that I know about. This accusation so-called in this video, right, that's something that is related because, well, I'll mention it again, but you were never accused of being some sort of a jerk for calling it a success. Um, we had had two polite exchanges. It had started badly because I left some polite comments in a video of yours and you called me all sorts of names. We had to get over that. Got over pretty quickly. You came back. I'm watching a video thinking you're going to be attacking. Instead, you just went one, two, three through all these issues. And I'm like, great. And I did that. And then you did that. And then I did it. And my video didn't make it. As a matter of fact, my system, I had to reinstall my OS week or so after that is why my videos were having so much trouble though it's also I gotta be careful on this machine does not really want to do like you know 30 minute videos with even simple editing so but uh, but anyway so I did that and then I made another video instead of it it was shorter and it wasn't a point 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 but I did go two of the points you know highlight or three something like that and um I PM'd you about the fact that I was going to say something on the success statement to take down the video so I couldn't show because specifically because I wasn't going to jump you or try to make a fool of you or try to make it like you believe something you don't believe. Uh, I didn't do that. I wasn't going to do that. I warned you that, hey, here's the subject. Don't want you to get all sensitive about it so here's the subject let me just say and you said well I know not this and I'm like I knew I could guess the answer you gave in this video about success I, I get all that the stifling opposition is a possible criteria of success maximizing the pursuit of happiness of, of the Filipinos or the soldiers that had to do it could be another one you talked about Booth's success Right, he wanted to kill, he wanted to kill, well, that's an interesting point, because, I mean, metaphorically, it's like, are you saying that our army was like Booth, in which case they were traitors, but, um, no, as far as Booth was trying to kill Lincoln, to really know if he, you know, succeeded, we'd have to know, was he, um, it's on the tip of my mind. I know there's some sort of story uh, and historical theory uh, that he, who, what he was, who he was trying to help, or what his motivation was. But like, if it was to hurt the United States, let's say, well, yeah, he killed our president, and like, like uh, you said, he, he killed our president, like you said, it probably hurt Reconstruction, right? Um, and I kind of, you know, criminally, it's like, well, he killed the president, that's bad, you know, it's a crime, um, uh, and I think historically it's pretty hard to say, well, did it really benefit the, the country after what happened, but if you want to say whether he succeeded or not, you would have to know his goals, right? So the questioning of the success of the U.S. military operation is going to be a questioning of their goals, and, and I did not, I'm not going to question you, you weren't there we don't know you don't have a time machine uh, so um, so basically I understand if talking to me is gonna make you all upset for whatever reasons fine don't try to blame it on me you should be like sorry I 
I mean, there's a good chance we'd, we'd never be able to have a talk because... And again, I'm not judging you for this. But you are the kind of person that passes a video around to their friends to see if it should be stated. I would never do that. To me, that's just like... I might ask my friends whether I believe it. To me, it's like it's very associational, and you got to ask the other people. It's as if, you know, I... I don't know if that's what it is, but this is why I don't like to do things like that. To me, it feels very much like you're just trying to work on, wait, is this good for the kind of reputation I want? Does this fit into, you know, our the reputation we're trying to project, fellas? Is that okay? But I understand you're saying it's like, was this wrong? Is this... I'm, in which case, I don't know why they would say, yeah, put that up there. Because um, I think I... I already even mentioned in the PMs we discussed that. I, I that's fine your excuse for it. It wasn't a success because it's 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 terrible to do those things. Right? If that's what you have to do, then it's a success would have I mean it's like the militaries are supposed to keep is this supposed to be uh, keep the peace, right, through strength. A success would have been a way that limited all that. And so you can very easily say, what do you mean? It would have been bigger. It would have been longer. So it was a success because it was shorter. Yet we know the scope of that. I mean, you know why that doesn't do a good job describing the Philippines to me, right? You didn't read that thing on that video, and I haven't watched all your other thousand videos where you said you used it as an example of how torture is wrong. That's great. We can discuss that a little. What did I... The only thing I've done that will make you have to get mad at me is... I actually don't know what it is, because I haven't been that challenging to you sort of hinted that I might be challenging, and I thought you might be cagey, so I warned you. And then you made a demand. And now you're going to make this video like I accuse you of, of you know, what, what is it in your description? I don't know if the video is still up, but, you know, you're defending yourselves against, as if you were called pro all that stuff. No, you just said it was a success, and I said, hey, well, that sounds like we, that's a basis to talk about this issue, and it has been. And then you go ahead and do it. Um, so, you know, I think it's an interesting question to say, did it work? And you know as well as me, there's a lot of definitions of things working. And I don't know why you think I'm going to try to make you look bad and you're going to have to get upset. You wouldn't. And I hadn't, and I didn't. And you tried to make me look bad, and Skep tried to make me look bad, and when you started the conversation, I just carried on with the conversation. Maybe if you're scared that I was, you know, going to flank you and jump down in the hills, you shouldn't have started off the way you started off. Maybe that's what made you nervous, right? Because I didn't do anything like that. Quite the opposite. I said, hey, I, I thought that was odd how you said the Philippines is a success because if so it's an example of, of, of badness now when you decided you wanted to stop talking you gave a reason why because of my bad character which was demonstrated by my unwillingness to denounce somebody that you point at at random my bad character that's why so I think I could go no it's because you're a fraidy tat and I'm going to take a guess as to what you're Freddy Tad about, but it's not really a subject, it's, it's me for some reason. Like I'm flanking you around or manipulating. Similar to, see now here, I'm afraid to even name it, because she, she got scary to me. She was saying that I'm an unsafe person, and, you know, and I, I don't like to be part of people's paranoid fantasy. You know, I offended her by not defending Gary and by actually saying what I thought on the subject when that was not evidently 
deemed to Gary's benefit, though it was in reality, because Gary went off on a tangent looking like a fool instead. I could have stopped that bleeding, but, you know, that wasn't my goal. And her insults to me, very, very vocal, literal, could look the words up in the dictionary. You know, what is the fucking goddamn line? Dangerous cut in, you know. Now, you probably didn't call me a cunt, but it's bad. And uh, what did I say to her? All of my alleged terrible insults were in this innuendo and shadow world, so I don't know why I give people that impression. It's like they see a cloud storm coming, and suddenly I've done a bunch of things I didn't do. You know, and I try to tell people, well, here's how I plan, here's how I think. Yes, I do believe in planning a message. Yes, I do go one, two, three, four, I think it through. And even, even, and especially if I don't do it in the morning and I do it late at night and I'm tired and I've had a few drinks, it's probably because I've already thought about that they'll be. But, I figure, okay, well, I'll tell people what I'm doing. Now I'm doing this because of that. I called you a teetotaler because I thought probably you weren't, but that's better than calling you a hypocritical drinker. And yeah, because I had this much information and I had to react by this much time and, and have a reaction. Somebody's coming at you calling you names. It's like, wait, let me do some research. I'll get back at you. So when I have to do those kinds of things, I just say what I'm doing. And where has I tried to make someone like feel bad about themselves I don't sometimes I'm shocked how much people think I am <laughs> but you know it's like uh, there's a guy uh, Adam Mache that I've been talking to and eventually he was talking you know he's just I've called him incredibly egotistical like in it needs to be brought under control and um, does that is that supposed to make him feel bad no I've said a lot of stuff about how to fit that together and we're not just talking about somebody that thinks highly of himself we're talking about he has a philosophical system where he has this source of what he calls righteousness and let me I would just call it intuition and he believes he's the special source and you know, and then he insults, he says, I want to be challenged, that's finally, because I saw his comment. Well, I'll save that for a video for him. But he's another one that's gotten all scared. You know, I've challenged him only to the limit where he persisted on this subject, and I said, well, here's what I think of those ideas, and, and then he says something to me, and I say something to him, and then, you're mean. He says, I don't mind hurting people. Who have I hurt on here? Right, like the Poodle Susan example is that she thinks I hurt uh, Gary and her somehow. She actually thought I called them rape apologists, which I never did. As a matter of fact, I never called anybody a rape apologist. And as a matter of fact, from my whole, as soon as I saw this issue, the first video is clear to me. They were talking about Thomas Jefferson apologia. You guys are going to bring up this shit because you want to poke at each other. No, okay, we're talking about Thomas Jefferson apology now. It's like, no, we're not interested in that subject. Just about whether Frank should take them about and then their character. Right. So, I don't want to talk to people that I make nervous. I want to talk to brave people. I mean, that's how I got in with Adam. He, he, he had all this egotistical stuff, and I thought, then he can take some, he wants to have some discussion on those ideas. And um, uh, I thought he was strong. I thought Skep and you were strong enough. I mean, you came on to me insulting, so I went, hey, no, uh uh. -uh. And that could seem kind of brusque. But then you talk to me civilly, and I talk to you civilly. I don't know why would you still be nervous. I mean, and if you are, maybe it's the way you guys started. Maybe you should look at your own approach, um, right? Um, because uh, since I did not do any of these things, 
Like, you went into the, the mercenary set blog you'd written. That was a comment by someone else in my thing. Since you didn't say any names in your video, it's like, oh, it's all blogged together, block, block, to me. Like, it was, a, but no, I specifically, I didn't make any comments about mercenaries or say you're pro-mercenary or anything like those things you're all worried about. And if you talk to me, that wouldn't happen. I don't jump on those kind of bandwagons. It's quite the opposite. When the bandwagons are all getting jumped on, I'm like, no, I don't care who is the target. I'm not into that kind of thing, right? And it seems to me like you're scared of being victim of that, but you are into that sort of a deal, right? You don't care if Skid Row Radio's basic humanity is respect well because he called you a rapist or something okay I didn't expect you to or to Frank's Frank's I saw videos I tried to piss him off so I guess you did it they're pissed off at you you don't want to talk to him I okay but me I didn't do anything like that I just simply didn't do anything like that quite the opposite I gave you a warning so you wouldn't feel ambushed because I want to be able to talk about difficult subjects Um, I don't know, let's see, what, is there anything in here? I think uh, one interesting thing is the Philippine attitude towards us now is pretty positive. Why is that, boys and girls? Well, maybe I should, I'll make my own Philippines video, probably. But it's because the Japanese went in there and were really nasty to them, and so when we liberated them from the Japanese, it's like, okay, let's start history now. And, um, and the Philippines economy, evidently, is... is finally catching up and, and it might be good timing for the Philippines. I hope so. I think we should give the Statue of Liberty to the Philippines because we're not using it. Um, so that's kind of funny how that turned out well, except for I think we should really solidify this relationship before they read history enough to realize we're the ones that sort of set Japan on the Pacific. Uh, Yeah, blood and treasure. It's a funny phrase. Comes up a lot. Anyway, all right, that's my reply to that. And I might well still watch Unseen Perfidy because if he's going to bring up uh, contemporary matters from the status quo point of view, then that's a good starting point for me because, you know, if I just start, hey, some people think that. Uh, Philippines was a success, and people go, oh, no, what do you, you know, so, some people think that Snowden is a traitor, and I guess start somewhere, it's nice to have somebody's opinion to work from, but I'm not into demonizing people, uh, show somebody I have demonized, otherwise, all right, because it's like, oh, that's disingenuous, yes, you are into that, I've been on here seven years, show me who I demonized, 